also some very cool experiences in Ocho Rios. Check out Mystic Mountain. This place has, now get this, a 45 mile an hour bobsled ride through the rainforest. This is where you get to live out your impossible dream of joining the Jamaican bobsled team, without the ice, of course. Now, if you're not feeling up for that thrill, and you want to go a little slower and get some of the best views of the island, then you take a 30-minute chairlift ride through the trees. Want to keep both feet on the ground? Then hike through the woods. We're taking some local music and dance. A couple of hours west along the coast is the very late town of Negril, where you have to get out to Seven Mile Beach. Now, in the interest of full disclosure, I'll let you in on a little secret. It's not actually seven miles. It's more like five and a half. But hey, who's counting? Still, these are five and a half spectacular miles of beach. Along the beach, you'll find restaurants, local vendors, as well as plenty of room to relax. But instead of just swimming in the water, why not try something a little more adventurous? Are you guys ready? Yeah! yeah. Cliff diving from 40 feet. Oh. Now, you couldn't pay me to do it, and maybe I couldn't pay you to do it, but you can still come out and watch other crazy people from all over the world jump. And if you thought Jamaica was only for honeymooners, well, think again. There are family experiences, and this is one of them. Cool Runnings Water Park. It's the largest water park in the Caribbean and has seven water slides. That's right. Some of which start as high as 40 feet. There are more than just water slides at Cool Runnings. This eco-friendly water park is located next to the Great Morass, a protected wildlife area. You can raft through the Morasses canals to get a first-hand look at Jamaican plants and animals in their natural habitats. Now, if all this activity is making you hungry, well, that's not surprising. In fact, Jamaica is world famous for its local food scene. There's just one problem. Most visitors never even leave their hotel or resort. Now, I'm telling you, you've got to get out to experience where the locals go and have some really great off-the-beaten-path experiences. There's even something called the Jerk Trail, consisting of 22 restaurants across the island serving great Jamaican jerk. Speaking of Jamaican jerk, if you want the real experience, you come here, one of my favorite places in the entire country. It's called Scotchies. Now, I'm here in Ocho Rios. They also have it in Montego Bay. There's a method to their madness, though. It's dark, it's hot, it's smoky. They use corrugated tin. They cook it on the original street wood. By the way, did I tell you it was hot? It's hot. But here, speaking of hot, if somebody asks you if you want some hot sauce with your dish, you do so at your own risk. Let me have that chicken. You know what? You want great Jamaican jerk chicken, Great Jamaican jerk pork, great roast fish. You come to Scotchies, but of course, you wash it down with the obligatory one. Now, let me fix that. Two bottles of the local brew. Not surprisingly, everyone likes to ask me where I've experienced the world's best sunsets. Well, I can tell you where one of them is, and it's right here at Rick's Cafe. It's been around before most of the resorts even existed. And it's drink, live music, and that famous Jamaican sunset. Of course, most travel brochures show you nothing but frolicking in the sun with Ken and Barbie riding on a boat. But guess what? Once the sun goes down over the sea, Jamaica comes alive at night. Now, even if you're not a late night partier, you're going to want to get a taste of this. Welcome to Montego Bay's Hip Strip. 